Hello, what is up you guys? My name is Savannah. For those of you who don't know, I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and on Poshmark. So pretty much I go find stuff for cheap and I flip it for profit online. So today I have a big haul of clothes for you from Half Off Day at a couple different arcs and a couple different Goodwills in my area. I live in Northern Colorado, so I went to a couple in the surrounding areas and I found some really good stuff so I'm gonna show it to you guys and I'm just gonna get right into it because I know that's what you want to see so here you go so first up I have this Christian Dior silk tie it does have a mark on the back I'm gonna have to try and get that out yeah Christian Dior all silk um, these actually don't go for a ton but I only paid 49 cents because I think ties are priced at 99 cents at our Goodwill so I'll probably get about like 15 to 20 dollars but it's just a really nice tie I like the little belt look is a pair of Pilcro and the letterpress jeans these are sold at anthropology and I paid half of $6.99 so yeah I almost didn't pick these up because they have this like raw edge thing going on but I think that is intentional I think that's the style either way I will highlight it in the listing I'll probably get about $25 for these. Next I have this gorgeous J. Crew dress. It's like this wool tweed material. It has these adorable lace cap sleeves and it has pockets. I love when a dress has pockets. Um, I paid $3 because it was $5.99. And let's see what's on the back. Oh, so cute. It's so perfect for fall and winter. Yeah, so J. Crew. Actually, is J. Crew Factory. It has the two diamonds underneath it, but it's a size eight, and I'll probably get about thirty-five dollars for this. Hopefully, <laughs> it is factory, so maybe a little less. But either way, it's real cute. This is probably one of my favorite pieces I got yesterday, just because I love the colors in it, and I love this brand. It is Flax, um, and I love the little message they have on the tags. They always have a nice little inspirational message. This is 100% linen, and I don't know if you'll be able to see all the colors, but there's like yellows and purples and reds. It is so cute, and it's like a little lagging looky dress that has pocket, well, one pocket, I guess. It kind of continues on the back, but how adorable. I'll probably get about 35 to 40 for this. And how much did I pay? $3. Well, half of $5.99. Party. Next up is this gorgeous vintage Christian Dior. Uh, it's like a royal blue blazer, size 12. Back. Yeah, it's super pretty. And it came with a matching skirt, which does match it in color, but it's actually Alfred Dunner. It's not Christian Dior, so I'm just gonna go ahead and re-donate that. But I did pay $6.99. Arc. Well, half of $6.99. What's half of $6.99? But yeah, so good deal. Very cute. Next, I have this vintage Lily Pulitzer white label. If it's the white label, it's older, just so you know. Um, but it's 100% silk, pink button down blouse. It does have Lily on the buttons. Yeah, I paid dollars for this and I'll probably get about 25 somewhere around there yeah really pretty next I have this new with tags banana republic silk lush blouse and I don't pick up a lot of banana republic but I do like picking up their silk pieces especially when they're new with tags check it out um, and I paid two dollars and fifty cents super pretty and I'll probably get about 20 to 25 dollars for this shirt brand new with tags J crew women's perfect shirt and I think this is J crew
and Kalanak hoodies are in, so $2.50. Definitely had to pick that up. I might keep it, but we'll see. Next up, I have this gorgeous Eva Franco. Oh, where's the tag? There it is. Eva Franco, which actually this dress was sold at Anthropology, but not all of hers are. And it's size 12, which is great. And this is called the Tangelo dress. It's a gorgeous orange color. Can't really see the back. It's really cute. Uh, made of silk, I believe, and I paid $3. So, really exciting. Horribly hard to show, but you get the point. <laughs> if you look up Eva Franco Tangelo, or Tangelo, whatever, however you pronounce it, it will pull up a beautiful stock photo of this dress. That looks a lot better than it does right now. <laughs> But yeah, exciting, exciting vibe. Next up, I got this sweater from Icelandic Designs, and this was not half off. However, it was definitely worth it. So I paid $8. I'll probably get about $35 to $40 for this sweater. It's in amazing condition, 100% wool. Um, I love finding Icelandic Designs, especially around this time of year. And this does look like a newer style, so exciting. Next up is a moth, which is sold at Anthropology. I don't pick up a lot of moth because honestly, a lot of it doesn't sell for a lot, um, at least I've found, but I love this piece. I love the cuts, I love the color, yes. And I paid $3. Show you the back. Just has this little fitted thing going on at the bottom. Love it. So this is probably my most exciting find of my Saturday trip. It definitely shocked me uh, when I looked up comps. It is called Venetia and it is Angora Rabbit or 80% Angora Rabbit. Probably the softest sweater I've ever touched, honestly. It's like softer than cashmere. But I paid $8 for this matching set and comps for one sweater looked at about $100 to $120. So very exciting. I will keep you guys updated on how much this sells for. I think I am going to sell the pieces separately, even though it is a matching set, and if somebody wants to bundle them, they can. Um, this is just a little mock neck sweater, short sleeve, and it matches. You can see Vanessa, yes. So $8 for the set. Hopefully I'll get around $80 to $100 a piece. So definitely good profit there. Next up, I absolutely love this brand, and it is Smart Wool. So, Smart Wool says it down there, and right there, you'll see the little robot looking dude. And you're gonna wanna pick it up, because this stuff sells super quick and super consistently for about $25 to $30. And I paid half of that price, so $2.50. Just flip it over and show you the back. And there is a little bit of a uh, hair it looks like from the Angora on here so I am gonna have to lint roll it but yep excited to find smart wool always next I have a pair of Athleta Athleta however you say it I say Athleta but it's just a pair of yoga pants and they're cropped they have this little flap thing going on they're kind of like an olive green color and they are a large tall that little t stands for tall and i love finding athletic wear especially in a size tall because i am tall and i know the struggle of finding yoga pants that fit correctly so yep i got these and i paid two dollars another favorite from this trip because just for obvious reasons look at how adorable it is look at that mickey with the golf club Oh, it's cute, and it's from the Disney store. You can tell it's old. It's printed on both sides. Love it. Somebody's gonna be obsessed with this like I am. I'm probably gonna price this at about $30 just because it's very neat. <laughs> and I think I might be able to get $30 for it. So, we'll see. Next, I have an Eileen Fisher cardigan. It's this brown color. It's almost like a blazer cardigan. It is the older Eileen Fisher tag, I believe. Um, but it was definitely worth picking up. How much did I pay? 
I paid two dollars and fifty cents. Can you see that? It says four ninety nine. Eileen Fisher. Next, I have a soft surroundings striped. It's like a knit sweater, but it has a little hoodie pocket and a hood. It's pretty much just a sweater hoodie, and it's really adorable. I kind of wanted to keep it for myself, but I'm gonna sell it. I'm not gonna want it. Soft surroundings does really well for me, uh, mainly on eBay, but who knows? This is pretty cute. It might even sell on Poshmark. Another great eBay brand. This is Bob Mackie Wearable Art. I love finding this, especially in plus sizes. It sells super quickly for me. Uh, probably about $30 to $35 for this piece. It is 100% linen. Not 100% linen, but it's half linen. I just saw the tag, but it has an adorable little cutout detail. And yeah, I got it. I do not know how much I paid though, because the tag fell off. So probably $2.50. I'm just going to go with that. Oh, just kidding. I was right. Boy Lily. Boy Lily. Super colorful, super adorable knit sweater. It is a full sip jacket sweater. I paid $2.50. love the colors in this in the pattern perfect for fall and for winter and yeah. another great sweater this is 100% cashmere and it is by boop, Margaret O'Leary you see that pretty tag she prints her tags on like a seashell opaly type thing but it is a gorgeous green color mock neck, cashmere. I'll probably get about $30 for this sweater. I love finding this brand just because I really like their pieces. They're super mountainy and Colorado-y and that's probably why I find them here, but it is true grit. And this is a fleece button down uh, women's with all these cute little moose all over it. It says an Alaska original. This kind of looks older, I can't really tell, but $2.50. That seems to be the resounding, the resounding amount for everything in this haul. <laughs> but adorable. It's gonna keep someone super warm this winter. Next, I have a Sundance catalog Kelly Green velour blazer with a slip cuff detail. It is a size eight, and how much did I pay? Probably $2.50, but it looks like I don't have the tag on this one, so we're just gonna assume $2.50. A pair of J brand jeans that I actually traded with my aunt for. She had these and I had a Lululemon jacket she wanted, so we did a little switcheroo but they're just jet black. I'm gonna have to look up the style on the J brand jeans, style number. If you didn't know, it's right on the inside there. So just a nice pair of uh, dark jeans going into fall and winter. And J brand are pretty expensive. Some of them are even sold at Anthropology. So I paid half of $6.99, so $3.50. Math is not my strong point. Next is this Maeve, which is sold at Anthropology, and I believe this is somewhat newer because it still has all the buttons and everything in this little bag, but it is a olive green silk shirt dress. It has a little pocket, a couple buttons, and I paid $3. And it is a newer Maeve tag, so I'm going to have to look up the style, but this is my favorite color for fall, so definitely exciting. Another Sundance catalog piece and this is a silk button-down floral blouse and I'll probably get about $25 to $30 for this and I paid $2.50 and last but most certainly not least is this gorgeous 100% wool Wallace uh, moto jacket that has a couple different zippers and Wallace is I believe either sold at Madewell or it's just made by the same company as Madewell and J. Crew. 
This is a gorgeous piece. I'm gonna have to do some more research. It has like metallic veining in it, but definitely gorgeous. It is so soft. I wish you guys could feel how soft it is, but hopefully this video will do it justice. <laughs> it has an adorable like knit collar. Yeah, Wallace. I wonder if this has a style number inside of it, like J. Crew and Madewell pieces do. Uh, nope. It looks like they cut it out. So, I am SOL. Still adorable. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul from Half Off Day at the Ark and Goodwill. I definitely recommend you guys go check out when your Goodwills or your local thrift stores are having their Half Off Days. It's just a great time to stock up on inventory and it's just more money in your pocket. So hopefully you guys learned some new brands. If you want anything that was shown in this haul, I'm going to link my eBay store as well as my Poshmark store down below. And if you want to follow me on Instagram and just see posts from when I'm actually at the bins and all those fun different areas I source from, my Instagram is street savvy underscore. So I'm going to put that all down below. If you guys could give this a thumbs up, if you like my hauls, whatever, thumbs down, I don't really care. But hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day and a great week of sales. Bye!